EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Here's the former Illini kicker, Chase McLaughlin, to get us started. And off we go from Cleveland. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Chase Edmonds, four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage, second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Seven yards there at a first down. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Here's Murray from midfield. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. A gain of 10, first down, Arizona. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play Never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And now the throw hold in by Green. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Murray to the veteran Green for the Cardinal first. First down, Edmonds, and he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now a give to Edmonds. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the nine, second and five. Here's Murray. Buying time to his left. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner there to make the grab. And the Cardinals take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now a 7-0 game. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick.
Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. First carry for Nick Chubb, and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line. Just a three yard gain there. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Coming up on second and seven. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. Now this will go for five up to the 33. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Mayfield on play action. Being chased out left. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. A run for Nick Chubb. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. From the 40 now on second down, Mayfield escaping the pressure right. That's caught over the middle, Hooper. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Mayfield on first down. Flushed out right. He's going to look for Beckham in the end zone. And this one is incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. Now they return to the ground game. Chubb. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. He wants it all for the end zone. And it's going to be caught for the Browns touchdown. Schwartz, 37 yards, and the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good, and we are tied here in the second quarter. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. On the return, Andy Isabella. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. 40 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Throwing on first down is Murray. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. 
steps away to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Murray. Dancing to his left. And able to find Kirk complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Murray again. And this one caught by Max Williams. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Murray forced out to his left. Going deep for Hopkins. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Credit that break up to Greedy Williams. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. To throw, it's Murray. Buying time to his left. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. He'll give up six yards there on the loss, and it'll bring up fourth down. Prater's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. That was perfect. From distance, he steps up, knocks it right down Main Street. And Main Street's celebrating right now with him, aren't they? I love the mechanics of the whole thing. Snap, hold, everything was right on target, and the blocking was perfect, and he executed so, so well. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. First down, Mayfield. Flush to his right. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Second and five. Play fake, Mayfield. They'll roll him out right. This ball tipped and it's gonna be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that at just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Eluding the pressure right. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On the move to his left. And he completes it to Hunt. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. A big completion there, and he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Very heady football. That allows them the opportunity to go ahead and line up and kick one right before the half ends. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. 
So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. shot before half for Murray being chased out left Hopkins on the grab over the middle and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 so we've hit intermission it's halftime this is the NFL and it's a presentation of EA Sports started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. drive about to get started it's a tie football game here what do you think Charles the message was at halftime well I think that they probably just looked at things and said we're fortunate that this is a tie game no need to panic no need to change a whole lot we didn't play anything close to our best in the first half so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us Zayvon Collins there to make the play defensively. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And again, it's Chubb. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two straight runs of five yards, first and ten. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them? And do I have enough confidence to make a play? A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. To throw Mayfield escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. J.J. Watt, the one that gets him down. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. It's a first down following a gain of three. Give him a show. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield, he'll buy some time right. And finding the tight end, Hooper. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Mayfield looks to throw, steps away. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, 
To able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb, and he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Chubb with the first down carry as he'll get about three out of it. Make it second and seven coming up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Mayfield. Throw left side. There's Schwartz with it. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. 77 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Chubb. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Nick Chubb taking it in from four yards out. And the Browns have moved out in front. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. On the return, Isabella. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Throwing now is Murray. Steps away to his left. That is caught. It's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still. Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, Edmonds. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. To throw is Murray. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Back to throw. Murray. It's caught right side by Daniels. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 23. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. They'll run on first down. Edmonds. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Forced out to his left. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. But now it's third down. Murray to throw. His throw caught right around the six. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts 
It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On the handoff, it's Edmonds. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run with Edmonds. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They're going to try and run for it. And he is not going to reach the goal line. A courageous call to try for two, but they will remain down by a point. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the... And oh, they coughed it up. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. They'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And this is caught by Williams. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. On the carry, it's Edmonds. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second down at five. Another carry now for Edmonds. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. 